Hello and welcome back. Today's a little bit different. Um, I've got a new steering rig. Uh, I've got a Logitech 920. As you can see, I've got brake pedals down here, accelerator, brake, and clutch. Um, had it a day now, messing around with it. Uh, it's a an Xbox version, ready for the Microsoft, which is good. Um, obviously, got a gear shifter as well. Um, Retailing around at the moment for about 240 quid, 250 quid with the shifter. I picked mine up pretty cheap, 100, 160, 100, yeah, 160 quid. Um, thought, you know, I'll give it a go. I had a Hori Apex before. Um, it's all right, but um, especially with ETS and ATS, this is massively different. This is um, True Force as well. Feel, um, and force field, everything like that. It's got every, all, all the bits on there. I've got it set off at the moment. <coughs> the only downside to the 920 is the brake. <laughs> the rest of them fine. The clutch is fine. Accelerate is fine. Just the brake is a bugger. Let's put it that way. Um, so it's really just to showcase this. Um, it's a it's a lovely steering wheel. Absolutely gorgeous. What I have noticed, I do stay on the track and I can go around corners a little bit faster than I could with the Hori. The Hori just pulled horrible at one stage. Uh, the Hori only had a 180 degree turning circle. This has a 900 degree cir circle, so it will just go all the way around. So this is a lot, lot better. Uh, control the vehicle a lot better. It's self-centering as well, so it self-calibrates, spins around, calibrates when it turns on. Um, the shifter is a six-speed shifter. Let's make sure it's in neutral before we start. Um, you have to forgive me. I am getting used to the shifter. I haven't done the shifter as much. So there's 12 to speed and the shifter will double over. The only problem I've got at the moment is when I go into reverse, it does take me on into the menu. So I've got to look into that. Um, as you can see, I've got the volume down, the music down on the, on this. That's my truck at the moment. I'm ready to do a journey uh, just to do it to to do this, I've just done a massive 1600 uh, mile journey, um, but this should be fun. There's no pro mods in this, pro mods is now being. I'm waiting for pro mods to be finished, um, so because there's a massive update of 1.48 on the uh, e ETS, it's a little bit glitchy tonight, and I don't understand why. Um, I'm going to give it a go, see how we get on. So, I'm going to leave this in a position you can see basically this going on so you can see the shifter working and everything else um i can't put another camera on because that's now i'm using the uh eye tracker for that so i'm going to jam this in somewhere but yeah that's basically the system uh, if you're looking to buy a steering wheel um i strongly recommend i'd go probably for the 923 which is <laughs> 300 quid but um the, the brakes on those have been sorted out I'm going to have a look, see if I can get these modded. Um, so they're all right, but they, you have to push like you've got 10 elephants on your foot. That's the only problem you've got. And sometimes my chair, which is on wheels, does go flying back. Um, so this is all my complete setup. I've obviously got recording going on over there. Um, and my lovely little PC down here. Which does have, if I turn it on, I'll turn them off because it gets bloody hot. Um, I'll see, I've got a bit of lights going on down here. But they get a little bit warm. Um, so I tend to turn them off. Just to, well, I obviously don't want to go off. Oh, I don't ever go off. There you go. Um, so that's all sorted. I've got my big speaker there. That's a massive speaker in the sense of it's small, but it's massive in sound. So I'm going to pop this to the side, uh, try and jam it in under the keyboard, see if it will stay. Hopefully you'll get a, a sense of what's going to go on. Um, so we'll make a start. Uh, we'll do the most part of this journey, I think. Let's just get things sorted out. So I so said the shifter looks cheap, but it does the job. You do miss shifts as well uh so my driving might be a little bit ropey we'll see um i stall a lot <laughs> yeah uh i'm used to driving geared cars but now i've switched over to an automatic hybrid uh i keep forgetting about the clutch uh you do that sometimes right so we're going to go in and 
like I say, it might turn a bit glitchy. I'm not really sure what it's going to do when we're recording. It was pretty glitchy beforehand. Um, they've done a few updates. Every time you get the odd update, I don't know what they do to it. They might have another update waiting because they tend to, half hour later, throw out another one when someone's complained. So um, it, we'll see. I've taken quite a few mods out to slow down the glitching a bit. Uh, so at the moment, this is where we're going to head up here. We're going to go. Uh, got, so we've got Juice Concentrate. So that's a big old. Uh, tanker because uh, so we've gone from Lithuania and we're going to go to Le Mans in France um, uh, 60 56,000 um, my rating is probably the top it can be 10 uh, divine champion of course uh, I'm at 1109 that's me XP and this is me shady haulage and here's my money so I've got 27.1 million in the bank um, I've got 22 trailers 31 trucks uh, and 31 drivers uh, my profit is 1.1 million you know every week so which is pretty good it's good going so I'm gonna hit drive this may take a while I noticed this was all playing up earlier so it's interesting to see if this just goes through or whether it's going to play around um, hopefully it's not going to play about it's, uh, it's got a little bit faster than it normally does I'm hoping you get to see a little bit of what's going on here. Um, Steering is absolutely phenomenal on this. I wish I'd got one of these earlier and played. You know, I mean, the Hori cost me about 110 quid when I bought that. Um, so yeah, this was a good bargain. I got this off of um, Facebook Marketplace. Um, I just happened to be a bit lucky. All right, let's get edges done. So we're ready to roll. I think we've got the truck in there. Let me have a look. Actually, I've left my sheaf on here. I'll get rid of that for a minute. I'll see the keys in. Uh, yep, so. Truck's all set. Like I said, there's no pro mods, so um, we're not going to see what we normally see. It's not as. I don't think it's good, so we're going to clutch in. First gear. Um, It's a bit better on uh, fuel economy as well when you uh, when you do this as well, so which is good. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. A paddle shifter is now my indicators, which is handy. My brakes. Yeah. So as you can see, the brakes are a bit, a little bit ropey. Okay, I think. I'm, oh, oh, you're gonna let me out, hey, sir. Thank you, sir. Might twat your car a bit, though. Oh, you. Oh. Okay, you dipstick. You see, let me out, and you crash into me. Okay, when I go into reverse, this does happen. Uh, we've got to figure that one out. Um, dipstick. Yeah, yeah, Burke. What's she reversing? No, yeah, you go, you go. Come on. Jesus. Dipstick. I guess this boy ain't a lorry driver in real life. Oh, okay. Yeah, that happens. Come on, get out of it, gear. You don't get that clutch all the way down, it just goes into neutral for some reason. Get ready to turn right. It'll improve. Like I say, I've only had it a day, so I'm still learning the... Uh, I'm learning how to use the shifter, so... Oh, right, yeah, dipstick. You're going to let me go, are you? Or you're going to crash into me as well? Oh, 
we'll, we'll could beat them. I say the you can get mods for these to put on here, so you get a better H gate. The H gate's a little bit um, non-existent, really. But these are 30, 30 quid, forty quid on their own when you buy these. So luckily, I bought the whole thing together. So uh, and when you're using that H shifter, which is called Advance, what you tend to find is. Um, You get no help with the brakes and rolling back, so uh, and accelerate is really good on us. It's a thousand three hundred miles, but we won't probably cover that. But if you touch, it's like in your car when you've got cruise control, and if you touch the brake or the clutch, it'll turn off. But as you can see already, the handling is a lot better. Uh, I can take corners a lot quicker than I used to be able to, especially the little gaugey ones. Um, we're going to get to see that in a minute. If you put force feed on, this thing's rattling around like crazy because you get every, all the bumps and everything from the uh, road. So uh, well, I've got force feed off at the moment. Keep right. I couldn't get around like this before. I'd be all over the place, but yeah, it's really good. I really enjoy it. It's a lot smooth, it actually feels like a steering wheel, which helps. But since I've been doing the shifter, I've really started to enjoy the game again. So when I was in with the Hori, I would be like panicking a bit around this bit. PC version, uh, they do advise you get an Xbox version of this. You can get the PlayStation version, but they do recommend you get the uh, Xbox version. So uh, this will be Go interesting. This makes it a bit more immersive if you're shifting. What I've also noticed your fuel economy is a lot better, you don't use up as much fuel if you're shifting. When you're on automatic it does seem to suck it up pretty much. Uh
So this gives you a bit more of an immersive feel really. Always one dipstick comes around the outside of you. Uh, the steering wheel is a lot more freer than the Hori ever was. Um, the Hori would pull to one side normally, whereas this uh, is self-centering. You can go and set all your things up using the... Um, it comes with... well, it doesn't come with, but you have to download the hub, go to Logic Hub, download the settings hub, and then you can set up your force fields and everything else that you want to do, however you want the steering wheel to react. Um, when I plug it in, I do also have to be a little bit careful because I don't smack myself on the head with it because it does spin to calibrate itself when you first fire it up. It's all neatly put away as well, the wires and everything else, but it takes a little while to set up if you're... If you use the steering wheel a lot, it's probably a really good um, steering wheel to buy. There is the Frostmaster because it was a choice between this and the Frostmaster. I uh, watched quite a few videos about the Logitech G920 and 23. I got a little bit conned when I bought this because it was sold to me as a 923. And it wasn't until I actually got it home, got it out, realised it was a 920. And I was trying to avoid the 920 because of the pedals. Um, the mod seems like, yeah, you've got to strip the whole thing down to replace it. And I thought, well, ooh, I'm not sure about that, so I'm going to persevere with these brakes for a while. Um, only other thing I was thinking was Don't to buy on. a set of pedals for the 923 to plug into these, but I'm just trying to find out if they're compatible. They should be, they're exactly the same set of pedals, just got a better stopper on. I just said, the, the driving now has become just too relaxed for me. Um, Caution. Please mind the speed. Lighty boy, I've just seen it. But the brakes do act. Ooh, I've got to smell that again. The brakes do act um, as you're in a real vehicle, though they, they, the pressure on them, but I think they just got it wrong on this version. Now they're doable. I've not tried Formula One with this yet. Um, that is what we're going to try next. Obviously when you go across different countries because they haven't got um, pro mods in here, you just don't know what country you're in really unless you stop and have a look at the sign, but um, just guess where the towns are, what country you're in, so... But yeah, I couldn't do this, go this fast around these corners, even these ones. The throttle feels a lot better. I've not always got my foot flat to the floor. Um, you don't need to. This you can you can actually set your throttle up to how sensitive and how fast you want it to work. There you go on the rumble strips. The uh, steering wheel just told me. That's the nice thing about when you got force feedback on is that um, it tells you what's going on with the wheels and everything else. You can feel the uh, truck getting away from it sometimes. And with the sh paddle shifters being the indicators, I have them up here somewhere, but I'm still with it. A bit of a pain. Get ready to turn left. Although I do still keep looking for them. Right, hopefully enough it's coming that way. Oh, and he stalled it. we will do that. So, let's just go back, start the engine again. Shove it in one. Like I say, you uh, 
It takes a little while getting used to where the biting point is in this. But it happens. We jumped into that gear too early, but we'll just leave it. Let it build up. Like I say, it'll go back to the centre and it'll just flip around where it wants to, so you have to try and guide it as much as you can. I am matey boy, he's just cruising, right? Just cruising. We're going downhill. I can't have nothing on the pedals. I want just waiting for it to drop down. By the time we get down to this, that'll be time to go back to doing 50, isn't it? So yeah, so the truck seems to stay more central of the road with its steering wheel. We've got more Don't control. I do like the horn right now. I have been doing ATS, so I've moved a little bit further on it. I do have a video I've got, but I haven't put it out yet. So um, I wanted to get this one done first. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on time. We've done about 20 minutes. So it's just basically so you can see this is how this works. It works really nice. Um, so if you're in the market for a steering wheel and you're in two minds between the Thrustmaster and the Logitech, I would I haven't tried the Thrustmaster, but from what I've heard, they are pretty good. But um, obviously the pedals are probably going to be better. But the steering wheel apparently is a lot better on the uh, Logitech. Plus it's it's full lever on here as well, so. Whereas the Thrustmasters tend to be um, plastic. So another selling point for me really. Yeah, we got to use the gears to... Uh, I will fill up. Yeah, the brakes take on some neutral, and just as you would normally do, you just turn the engine off and fill up. But like I say, the uh, now I'm doing the shifting. I'm well happy with it. So it just adds a little bit more to it. So let's get the engine started. You can usually accelerate to start the engine if you set it up but to do that, or you can just do it the normal way. So You could get away in ninth going on F forty three. Probably a long time to change to uh eleventh gear going up the hill. So 
but it's so easy. The uh, steering interacts so well with the steering wheel on the screen. And the acceleration is a lot better. Well, I'm going to slow down because we're going to no doubt go down to uh, I'm going to let him overtake me actually. Come on, dude, overtake. So it's an H gate system as well, so uh, I'll see for reverse you push down and push it into sixth. Go straight on. We'll jump those. You can feather the uh, accelerator as well, so you don't have to keep using uh, cruise control if you don't want to. So it's quite good in that sense. Well, the hurry, I think I had to keep the damn thing to the floor all the time. And uh, yeah, these sharp corners, I'd be bouncing all over the place. And on this, it's smooth, it just glides around the corners. I still get to test out Formula One bit, so that's my next challenge. I've got less damage um, on the uh, truck than I would normally have, which is always good. Apart from in dickheads, they stop and let you out and then crash into you on purpose. I sort of wanted to head to France because I want to do a little bit of motorway driving as well. Around this area, Lithuania, and it's just mainly these kind of roads. And you're doing these kinds of speeds where you just want to get up to 56, 62. I wasn't overly sure on the Logitech when I first was looking at them. Um, it all depends on what reviews you look at. Some people love it, some people hate it. And it's nice to try and get a general idea of pros and cons, what they find isn't great. Um, 
doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to like the, the steering wheel. And this time around, last time I jumped for the Hori and I should have gone for the other one. Um, this time I thought, no, I'm going to go with my gut this time. My gut says to go for this one. Let's see how I get around these corners. Okay. Caution. Please mind the speed limit. Go straight on. I thought he was going to carry in front of me. And so that's so much easier. The Hori, I just struggled there. And the wheel is just so easy to use. Once you get used to the uh, shifter, um, it's pretty much dead easy. straight on. I don't quite know why he had his uh, hazards on there. But... Oh, that count. What was that put there? Count. That's why I'm going to slip into the wrong bit. What are you doing, you dipstick? Straight on. Here we go. I was going to say Sunday driving, but it's Wednesday. There you go. If you don't get that quite right, I just will not go in. They say that fuel takes quite a while to come down now, where it used to come down now off instantly. It's probably improved EETS for me by, ooh, I'd say, a uh, hundred times. Just having a better quality steering wheel really it does make a hell of a difference. <laughs> to be honest, this is really my first real night I've used it. Really. Yesterday I was just messing around with it, really getting it set up and trying to get it with some bumps done, which is quite easy. You can also go with um, preset. They are they do come preset for games. So, uh, like in ETS, they they preset all the all the, the everything on here is all preset. But I change it to how I want it, how I'm used to it. So, and I, I would strongly advise you do it to how you want to do it. Don't have to have the presets. Just love how the truck sticks to the road now. Whereas before, um, if you go at certain speeds around corners, I'd be basically drifting. This apparently, uh, this steering wheel is good for Forza as well. Forza is probably the game for this. So, Formula One, but this version they reckon isn't so great because of the brake. Um, well, I'm going to give it a go and see how I get on. I'm nearly enough finished this full uh, Grand Prix season now. I'm obviously I'm going to be world champion, so I'm racing as Lando Norris. So I'm going to do a career mode after that. Whereas before, if I looked away and looked back, I was drifting in with the hurry. This one, you, I don't know, you, you keep it where it is, it stays where it is. Let's hit the rumble strips out. Huh? 
caution. Please mind the speed. Oh, I sometimes regret doing this guy. To stop sharp there. As you can see, I'm rolling forward because I'm on a hill. Whereas before, on an automatic, you're just sitting there, so you have to keep your foot on the brake or put your own brake on. And if you're like me, sometimes you forget to put your foot on the clutch again because you're so used to an automatic. Go straight on. I'm going to send him away. But I've got a better gauge of the road with this steering wheel. I said this steering wheel, gauging the road is easier um, than where right. you supposed then to be. Turn right. I just thought it was me. It's actually the steering wheel, so there you go, Turn that's on. Right. And rolling forward again. So I haven't been this way before, there's a few question marks over there, but I'm not going to go chase after them. You drive differently as well. I did notice that you, you know, when you use these kinds of stimulus, your driving technique is completely different. Okay, I haven't done a toll road in a while, so this will be interesting. I don't know three ones. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Yeah. So we slipped into the wrong one there. I don't mind the speed limit, mate, as long as you don't mind the speed limit. Yeah, it just seems to get to uh, speed a lot quicker. I guess anything I could say about this journey, if I get uh, thirsty, I've got plenty of juice in the back. As you can see, I haven't really come off full yet, so I've been quite a few miles.
And nothing's rushed when you're driving in this as well. You're not like fighting the steering wheel, you're not battling, it's just smooth driving. Um, the steering wheel goes where you ask it to go. There's a hurry, I'm, I was forever shaking it around trying to get it, get the truck straight, keep it trying to, uh, try and keep it in a straight line. Uh, the other thing I did notice, the hurry would make the steering wheel when you're sitting neutral or whatever, spin around. This doesn't, it's just, works a lot better. The hurry really was a PlayStation um, steering wheel that you could use on the PC, but uh, it was really designed for the PlayStation. And it did its job. Like I say, we did before I'd be a slam of brakes on the last Caution. minute, but Please mind the speed um, on this you do you do do progressive slowing down. And you can also use the gears to help you slow anyway. Feel more confident going through these as well. Um, one of these I'm bound to <laughs> stall it at some stage. Um, difficult to find the buying point, I must admit. You'll mind at me again in a minute. Mate, but it's 43. So you can see how easy this, this shift and us work. It's so smooth. A lot of people think it's cheap, plasticky, uh, but it does the job. Go straight on. I think if you find, if you look back at some of my other videos I've done, the driving wasn't this smooth. Always seemed a bit rushed, always a bit untidy. On here, you, you stay within the uh, lines. Quite Go often. straight on. Sometimes when I'm nosing around or whatever, I do tend to uh, mess it up a bit, but I don't ever see that. Bound to whack one of these up the back side at some point, though. Nearly still there. Oh. 
senhor. Caution, please mind the speed. And yeah, away we go again. So it's completely different than on an accelerator. I've got a better acceleration on there. So much that I do over speed sometimes. Hasn't glitched yet, but I'm waiting for it. Maybe, um,. While I've been on here, they've put out a new update to take care of it. Like I say, the, the updates on ATS are quite constant. They're probably daily. I'm, I've never known a company to look after a, a simulator or a game so well where they're constantly adding new bits, adding add-ons, fixes, bug fixes a lot. I'm going to miss out this um, rest space, but the next one I will pull over and uh, put you out the misery of watching anymore. This is really good. Um, like I said, if you are in the market for a steering wheel and you're looking for something, certainly give the uh, Logitech G923 or the 920 a go. I mean, the 920 ain't even bad, as if you can. You've got strong legs, then this would be fine. Uh, it takes a lot to get that brake down. But they can be modified uh, if you're confident enough to strip your pedals right down to next to nothing. You can modify it. I don't know if I really want to go to that extreme. So maybe later on um, I might buy another set of pedals. The 23 set of pedals. If I research it enough, find out whether I can use them. And I might do that eventually. So the journey's not too been, been too bad so far. I've had to take a lot of mods out because um, they've been breaking the game a little bit. That's the problem with updates, sometimes some of the mods that you've got in are no longer compatible with the, with the game. There's the old combine over there working away. That's what I do like about this game, is uh, you've got things going on in the background. I mean the game's come a long way in 10 years and I've come a long way with the equipment I'm using. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over in this one. Normally, oh, I get this many stops. So I've got an ATS to put out, and I've got an ETS to put out. So I'm going to basically put them both out. I nearly forgot that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to go down this one. Come on, find gear, will you? Oh, that gear. And it wouldn't be ETS if I weren't moaning at someone. Yeah, that does happen a lot when you miss a gear or two. There we go. And just make sure you're in neutral. And just turn the engine off. And that's it, we'll just stop there for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I would rate this steering wheel a good 9. Probably 8.5 due to the brake. If the brake was bang on, then it would be a 10 out of 10. But I am, like I said, I've, I've had this 24 hours. I am starting to love the steering wheel. Um, I do like it. Like I say, uh, this didn't look as big 
<laughs> on the internet it didn't look as big but it, it's quite a fair size and you can see it tends to take up quite a bit but you do have a, a nice frontage to it and you can see all the cables come through out the back here um, I've got power supply over there somewhere um, and then you've got all the cables obviously running straight down into the PC so you, just for the, the drive it's a helical what they call a helical um, motor in it as well so yeah it's really good the 923 obviously is the more modern of all of them it's the latest one the G923 which I would probably suggest people go for but they are a hundred pounds dearer funny enough um, but it depends on what kind of budget you're on really um, if I was starting out I'd have probably started with the Hori anyway um, but the Hori became horrible um, and then when you do move to a steering wheel like this, steering wheel like this you, you suddenly start to realize wow this is a lot better than the Mars even envisaging. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, to be quite honest. Um, and they still call this an entry level. <laughs> I wouldn't call it an entry level. I'd say it's pretty good. Um, God, yeah, yeah. But yeah, with the uh, good graphics, good steering wheel. Yeah, you got you can't go wrong. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you. Uh, if you are in the market for a steering wheel, you give it a, a, a consideration anyway. Um, I don't have an endless pot, so I can't buy loads of different ones to um, showcase. Some people do. Um, so that's it, really. That's mine done in a in a jiffy. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be streaming out next. I'm not really made my mind up yet. Um, I'm really going to sit back and just enjoy ETS for a bit and maybe uh, do a bit of X-Plane 12 again. Um, and that's really about it really. Uh, I've, really got to, I've got to sit down and actually do uh, X-Plane 11 again. I've got to take all my Orbex scenery out and reinstall it. That's three days. So, but yeah. Thanks so much. I was going to sit here and waffle all night. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, have a cracking week. And until the next time, goodbye.